According to marriage and family therapist, Dr. Darlene Lancer, most emotional abuse goes unnoticed and unreported. And although it is an often overlooked form of abuse, that doesn't make it any less harmful or serious than physical abuse. Dr. Lancer defines emotional abuse as behavior that is purposefully derogatory, controlling, punishing, or manipulative towards another person. Both men and women can be victims of emotional abuse, explains Dr. Lancer. But unfortunately, many don't even realize when it's happening to them. One of the reasons why emotional abuse is so hard to recognize is because abusers will often blame their victims to deflect their wrongdoings, a common gaslighting and manipulation tactic called DARVO that you should be careful of. What is DARVO? The term DARVO was first coined and studied in 1997 by the University of Oregon Psychology, Professor Jennifer Joy Freyd, founder and president of the Center for Institutional Courage. She defines DARVO as a psychological manipulation tactic that generates self-doubt and mistrust and exploits a lack of awareness in victims and those around them. It stands for D, deny responsibility. A, attack. R, roles become reversed between the V, true victim and the O, offender. Freud first witnessed DARVO in instances of sexual assault, wherein those accused would often attack the victim's credibility and outright deny the allegations against them, making the public distrust the victims. In her 2017 study, together with fellow psychology professor Eileen Zubrigan, Freud found that victims of DARVO often end up blaming themselves and self-silencing. But DARVO can happen in friendships, family relationships, and even institutional dynamics, for example, workplace relationships too. Fortunately, educating yourself about DARVO makes it significantly less effective, helps you hold the true perpetrators accountable, and can stop their cycle of emotional abuse. DARVO in action. Amanda Kippert, editor-in-chief of DomesticShelters.org, describes the three-step method of DARVO manipulation as follows. Deny. Abusers will vehemently deny what they did and gaslight their victims into thinking that they're just making a big deal out of nothing. Attack. Abusers will then attack the victim's credibility by bringing up anything in the past that they can use against them. This is so like you, remember when? Or questioning their victim's mental stability, values, and motives. Are you in your right state of mind? I can't believe the things you're saying. Why are you doing this to me? Reverse, victim and defender. At this point, most victims will often become stunned into silence and confusion. They may even begin to believe what the abuser is telling them, which the abuser will likely take as an opportunity to manipulate the narrative further. They'll make themselves out to be the victim. I'm so hurt and betrayed that you could even think that about me. What kind of person accuses a loved one of that? and guilt the true victim for even speaking up about it in the first place. And in doing so, they overshadow what the victim was even trying to open up about and force the true victim to defend themselves from the abuser and others instead of getting the help and support they need. Tips for coping with DARVO. Psychotherapist and trauma recovery specialist, Dr. Heather Kent, says that emotional abuse such as DARVO manipulation can be very difficult to recognize when you're on the receiving end of it. And often, it takes someone from the outside to help you realize what's actually happening and how it's not okay. The solution, Dr. Kent says, is to gain more awareness and get out of that situation as soon as possible. Professional counselor and trauma-focused CBT therapist, Eric Patterson, also encourages and empowers victims to resist DARVO by recording the story to reaffirm their perspectives, finding a safe space to heal from emotional distress and seeking support from loved ones, recognizing and countering their attacks and role reversal. Education, Patterson says, is key to improved mental health and emotional wellness for victims of emotional abuse, manipulation, and toxic behaviors. So what are your thoughts? Did any of the things we talked about here make you realize you might have been emotionally abused and manipulated by someone? If so, don't hesitate to seek help from loved ones and reach out to a mental health care professional. And always remember, psychdoers, you matter. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? get your very own sigh. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Sai is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Sai plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.